video is intended for students participating in the Who Wants to Be a Mathematician math contests. To take these tests, qualifying tests, and practice tests, you will use Maple TA. Now when you navigate to Maple TA, you first have to log in. Your login information should have been given to you by your teacher. If you haven't received it, please speak to your teacher to get it. Now the very first time you log in, you will be taken to a screen that asks you to validate your information. This includes your first name, last name, student ID, and email. Please note that you may see additional fields. Please verify your information and push the submit button at the bottom of your screen. If you ever have to change this information later on, click on your name in the top right of the screen and then click on edit user on the left hand side. You can now change your information on this page and push submit once you are done. When you now log into Maple TA, you will be taken to the My Homepage section that lists one class you are enrolled in. Click on the link for your class to go to the class homepage for Who Wants to Be a Mathematician. As you can see, you can take a practice test or the qualifying test if it's available. To take the practice test, simply click on the practice test under the assignment name column. A new window will open up with the very first question of the practice test. You can enter responses, like so, and then push the next button to get to the next question. You can navigate from question to question using the back and next buttons. To navigate directly to a question, use the question menu to select it. There are certain symbols that require special syntax in Maple TA. For example, for an exponent, you have to use the caret symbol. If you would like to use a square root, you have to type SQRT and then put the value in parentheses. To use pi, 3.14159, etc., type in pi. But if the equation is too complicated, you can switch to symbol mode by pushing the tiny button that says change entry mode, or as you saw in a previous question, it may actually say switch to equation editor. This equation editor lets you insert symbols from the top of it. For example, you can insert fractions, square roots, exponents, and so forth. When you insert them, you can change the values to what you like them to be. For example, in this fraction, I can change the top to be 1 and the bottom to be another square root. I can then change that square root to be something different. You can also use your keyboard to insert things into the equation editor. For example, 2 forward slash 5 makes a fraction. x with the caret symbol answers an exponent. If you then click switch to text mode or text entry, whatever you typed in the equation editor is converted back to plain text. You can now go forward and answer the rest of the questions. Once you are done, click on the Submit Assignment button. If you have left any questions blank, you will be notified. You can go back and put your responses in, like so.
and then click Submit Assignment once more. You'll notice the question we just answered is no longer listed here. However, if you are happy with what you've done and want to skip these questions, click Submit Assignment once more and the test will be finished. As you can see, you are told your score out of 10. You can also view details as to which questions you got right, as well as wrong, and the correct responses. If this were an actual qualifying test, you would not see your score out of 10 or any other details. All you would see is a thank you message. You can now push the quit button to go back to the class homepage. Now if you want to go through an actual qualifying test, you have to click the link under assignment name as before. You will notice that you do require authorization to take these tests. If you don't have authorization but you think you should have it, please speak with your teacher to get it. If you ever need help, the help menu in the top is always available while using Maple TA. This help section gives you instruction on how to use the Maple TA system. And this concludes the video for students participating in the Who Wants to Be a Mathematician contest.